um, one th I want to say something. Is this thing on? Yes. Okay. I want to say something about being an image maker. Um, I think the word censorship is something that is just charged. And whenever that word is brought up, we all just react. The hairs on the back of our neck go up. And we all fear that someone will tell us, shut up, don't speak. But in fact, there are many ways in which we're told to shut up and not speak. It can be with the, the withdrawal of funds. It can be the lack of recognition. It can be the fact that you can't get a review even though you have an excellent show. Or you can't get a reviewer, worse yet, who hasn't ever seen the work of, uh, work of this nature before and can't even respond to it in an intelligent way. One of the things that I've been thinking a lot about and one of the things that I'm really concerned about is being an image maker. And what I have had to teach myself is how to read the landscape. Not just how the hills roll, but urban landscape. What those buildings mean as they thrust up into the sky. What it means when freeways move through the barrios over and over again, crash through, how those neighborhoods are divided. All of those physical manifestations are designs created by somebody, someone somewhere. Someone sat down and made a design. Well, those physical manifestations are important in my understanding about how to make images, how to affect environments. And what I'm thinking about is that I would never say that I censored myself. I'd be the last one to say um, that I'd be willing to fit into any mold. At 36 years old, I find myself highly individuated. I've never been right. I've never been right as a Chicana, too fair. I've never been right in a political movement because I sometimes wouldn't do what I was asked. I've never been right as a woman because, in fact, I didn't want to have babies. Got divorced too early, couldn't, couldn't take it. So I'm not going to be right anywhere. I'm going to be a highly individuated person. And as I am an individuated person, I am going to accept one particular thing, which is that I make images that are oftentimes the only alternatives that my people will see to the images that they're fed in the mass media, to the images in their own urban environments. And that is a responsibility I will accept also. And I will impose on myself, I hope, as I grow older, an increased understanding of every image that I make and what its ramifications can be to the people who are seeing it. Is there implied violence in my work? Is that what I want to advocate? Is that what I want to advocate? In the promotion of pride, am I um, teaching our children to hold someone else down so that they can be up? In the if, if I advocate for my own rights, am I taking away the rights of someone else? Those are all the issues that I'm concerned about. And that's what I think about every time I make an image. So I would have to say, I wouldn't use self-censorship, but I certainly would say that those kinds of thoughts as image makers have to be put into every process, every time we sit down to make something. And therefore, the consideration of audience, the consideration of its impact, the consideration of the fact that it's alternative information is critical, and I will accept that responsibility. I won't be afraid to say, oh, I think maybe this is a little hard for, <laughs> for people in this place, and maybe I, uh, maybe I fucked up. Maybe I gotta start all over again. So that much is what I, I was really thinking about in terms of the creation of art, and particularly public art.